testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back with another one. A uh, ton of boxing today. We're in the middle, uh, in between fights. Uh, so that and, and Chaos lose to Martinez. I thought it was an absolute war. So I want to do a quick show. I want to do my quick thoughts on the Josh Taylor, uh, Jack Catterall performance. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. We are going to try to bring you a show 8 to 10 minutes a day, every day. Uh, we're going to try to do this every day. Um, could do two. Maybe we'll do two today if Chris Colbert gives me something to talk about. Um, but also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. On YouTube, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's, uh, today's performance. Because that was uh, a lackluster performance, to say the least, from Josh Taylor. I want to get into the, the performance. Look. There was so much holding. It was such an ugly fight. Um, I don't think it was a robbery. I actually scored it 113, uh, 112 for uh, uh, Josh Taylor. I gave him the first four rounds, though. You know, I'd have to go back. I, I'm going to rescore that. It's not that fight wasn't much to watch. Um, it was close and competitive. We didn't know which way it was going to go. But, it, I mean, there wasn't much action. It was mostly holding. Um, I, I, we'll get into the reference in a second. But I don't think it was a robbery. There were so many close rounds, and I think it could have went either way. But I gave the first four rounds to Josh Taylor. If you flip any of those, Catterall wins it, you can flip two of them. I, I thought um, the first and the fourth were close. I gave them both to Josh Taylor. Um, you can flip both of those to give the Catterall, and he wins the fight. So I, I don't have any problems with the decisions, uh, with the scorecard. Um, but the fight itself was uh, – I don't know if Josh Taylor was drained, but Josh Taylor, I mean, just didn't seem to have his legs. He was getting he was getting nailed with left hands, and um, he was getting hit over and over again. He really couldn't get out of the way. Um, he just didn't look like himself. Maybe it's just a bad performance. Maybe he's d- absolutely done with that weight class. Um, yeah, give Catterall credit. Um, he he fought hard. He fought well. A lot of people think he won the fight. Um, I, I just don't think he's enough. Especially in the late rounds. <clears throat> now you can give them the late rounds, but you're not definitely going to give the late rounds. And then after the knockdown in the eighth, it looked like everything had switched in his momentum, and he was going to pull this thing out. And then, you know, Taylor's the better fighter, but Catterall had the momentum. I was like, just keep pushing it, keep the action up. Josh Taylor, who's a pretty good, who's a pretty good hitter, got pretty good pop, wasn't hurting him. I don't know if he didn't have his legs, he didn't have his strength. I don't know. You know, it was a long layoff for Josh Taylor. A lot of things happened in, in, since, you know, the fight was supposed to be back in December. He got sick. He got COVID. Uh, he had injuries. It didn't seem like Josh Taylor's day. It seemed like Catterall's day. And, I, and I, you know, I, I kind of think Catterall let it slip. I really do. Um, the As far as the refereeing went, I didn't have a problem with any of the deductions. The holding was so obs- uh, so compulsive and, and 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 so destructive of the fight. I would have taken more fu- more points, honestly. Like I think both guys were pushing a uh, a disqualification. I don't have any problem with um, Catterall losing a point. No problem with Josh Taylor losing a point. Uh, Josh Taylor hit him at the bell. If that was Andre Durrell, Andre Durrell would act like a bus hit him. Okay. Um, that was a, a nonsense thing. Taylor did out of frustration when he hit him after the bell. Take a point. And the, the fight was so – and Catterall snuffed Taylor's head down, right? Um, that's a point deduction. I have no issue. with. I, you could have taken more points for just the obsess, um, obsessive holding. The excessive holding was just – it was nonstop, and it broke all momentum of the fight. And on ESPN, they were getting at the ref. I don't think the ref did anything wrong. Now, <clears throat> that's an ugly fight. You can't look. This is a world title fight. Okay, it's not a street fight with two fat kids. You know what I'm saying? They just want to hold and wrestle. I gotta break it up. I, I can't let that go on. That's not what. That's not what we have here. We have a world champion prize fight. Let them fight. They're not gonna hold and wrestle each other 
uh, by two fat kids in the high school cafeteria. So I have no problem with what the ref did. That that was there was so much holding and so much rough housing in that fight. They had to gain control. Had to gain control of the action. Right? Had to make it a fight. Had to make it a boxing match and and, and not rolling around on each other. Uh, so I have no problem with what the referee did. Um, I have no problem with the decision, although I can see it going either way. I actually have for Taylor. I got to go back and score it again. I don't know for sure. You know, I, I just thought Taylor was going to dominate him. I, I, I wouldn't expect this at all. Um, as far as what's next for Taylor, I think he's done at 40. He's a big dude. He looked drained at the weigh-in. Now, lots of people have drained at the weigh-in, and they rehydrate just fine. But – he looked drained the way and then fought like that. So I think he's done at a buck forty. I think it, he goes up to one forty seven. And I think realistically, two options. He can go straight into a butt fight. WBO, remember, WBO has a rule where you can go become the mandatory um, and fight Crawford. Now, the issue is Crawford, which we did another show on, check it out, said that if he uh, doesn't get spent, he's going to move out of the division. So I think you either get Taylor and Crawford next. Or Crawford leaves the division, and or Crawford fights Spence, and in the interim, I I, I mean Crawford, of course hell fights. Crawford either leaves the division, goes to fifty four, or Crawford fights Spence, which is what he wants. He said, if I don't fight Spence, I'm going to fifty four, which means if he does fight Spence, then you're gonna have time to kill. And I think the WBO would order Virgil Ortiz, who's the number one ranked opponent, oh number one ranked welterweight, uh, against Josh Taylor, which would be a sensational fight. So I, I think Josh Taylor, you heard heard it here first. I think Josh Taylor fights either uh, Virgil Ortiz or Terrence Crawford next, and he's gonna lose. And you heard that here, um, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I, you know, maybe he stays at one forty. I, I don't know. I mean, he he looked he, like you said he's used for a weight class. He looked drained at the weight, and then he fought like that. Um, he didn't get knocked out. He got knocked down. Usually you say if a fighter doesn't have his power or if he doesn't, uh, or if he gets knocked out, his punch resistance is gone, he's probably drained himself. Um, we've always said how big Taylor is for the weight class. I think he drained himself. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I'd like to see him go to 47. I'd like to see him fight either Virgil or Bud. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Are you guys okay with the decision? A lot of controversy out there. How's your score? Leave that in the comments. And then what do you think about the two fights I've laid out for him? Uh, do you think those are realistic? Or who do you think Taylor fights next? Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing Quick Hits coming to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. As well, please subscribe to the other channel on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.